Hello everybody, welcome to a new First Impressions video. This is Jack and Jill DX, and I have with me my lovely assistant, my beautiful wife, Jenny. Hi! And this was graciously provided by Indie Gamer Chick for Indie Xmas 2018. We are playing on the Xbox One. The game was developed by, and I'm going to butcher these names, but I'm going to try, by Rohan Norang and Rata Laika Games, and it was also published by Rata Laika. Now, I did play this just a little bit, just so I knew what was going on. Um, she also, uh, Indie Gamer Chick, who's handing out the code, she also wanted us to discuss our positives and our negatives about the game. So far, my negatives, I only have one. There's no way to adjust the volume, and this game is loud. It is very loud. We probably had to cut it down three four times as much as we have our audio levels for our voices. Yes. And the only option is to cut it off. Right. Which is annoying. Which is boring. Because then it's just ASMR. And we're just talking. And you should go to sleep. And don't go to sleep. Watch my video. It's got my wonderful wife in it. Doll. Now the good thing is, is the music is very good. Very uh, catchy. I've been bobbing my head the whole time. She has the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> and the levels are really short, so I don't want you to think I played this for like an hour. I played it for maybe four minutes. Yeah, it's pretty fast. Let's start on level one, though. Hi, I'm Jack. Can you help me reach Jill? She should be somewhere nearby. Press A, and I'll start running. There's Jill. Hi, Jill. She's cute. Oh, they're like little marshmallows. Oh, marshmallows. Or, or, where are they? Jujubes? I don't know. It's like gummy candy. I just remember or... that, that line in Avatar where he says, I'll eat your eyes for jujubes. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> What's a jujube? <laughs> yep. Press A while I'm running to let me know when to jump. If I bump into something, I'll turn around. Jump. Got some coins. Jump. Got some coins. Jump. Yeah, it's you. Bump, you didn't bump into anything. Was I supposed to? Is telling you what to do. Watch out for the pits. I'm sorry, I'm too weak for this game. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to probably die a lot while we're playing this. I died once in the four minutes we were playing. Yeah. Oh, I thought those were going to fall out from underneath me. You don't think so. Well, they, they kind of remind me of the ones in Mario where they would, like, shake. Yeah. They highlight the shake and then fall. Yes. Hmm, now where did Chill go? Come back. I miss you. I'm desperately lonely without you, Jill. I like your bow, Jill. She's got little eyelashes, too. Oh, does she? Yeah. Warning, extremely spiky objects ahead. These are all really spiky. I would say that those big ones are not even spiky. They are just spikes. They look like they could be bombs. Like depth charges? Old yeah. WW2 depth charges? Yeah, kinda. <clears throat> uh oh. We're There's going a left. There's a lot going on here. You're doing so good. This is like one of the easy tutorial levels. <laughs> but, um, I like the art style. It reminds me of a Game Boy game. Uh huh. Am I rich now? And see, before you say Game Boy games were green, I didn't have an original Game Boy as a kid. I got a Game Boy Pocket, and everything looked like this. Everything was just bright black and white instead of that green snot color. Snot. <laughs> My brother had one. That thing was huge. Why did he get one and you didn't? And he got the Game Boy for his birthday. Uh -huh. And then a few years later, I got a Game Boy Pocket, along uh -huh. with Pokemon Blue. I killed so many AAA batteries with those things. I bet. You know, I was wondering why Jill kept running away, but I think I figured it out. Go on. Every time you find her, she's right beside a cute little flower. I think she goes flower picking and gets lost. Ah. Or maybe she's just planting. Could be. That bouncy thing looks good enough to give me a boost up onto that ledge. Go, Jack. Boost away. Extra boost. I'm taking the high road. Ooh, there's lots of big coins down there, though. 
I gotta say chill. I'm not interested in riches, just love. <laughs> riches are nice too, though. <laughs> and then we hit this one. And we don't die. Ooh. There we go. It's definitely getting more complicated. Yes. The backs of the horse. I'm coming, chill. We'll save you. Now, physics-wise, how does he propel himself? Um... Okay. I don't know, he's just a bean. <laughs> Weehee! Oh. How do I get to you, Jill? You're, you might have to go back and use a bouncy ball. I think I do it this way. Catch me! Yay! So that's actually kind of a neat interesting little indicator is because the flower was on this side of her, the left side of her, uh, it means I'm going to approach her from the right side. Interesting. That's, uh, to me, that's that's very helpful for... It's just an extra little detail to help you out. Yeah, and that's good game design. Things that you just naturally... Oh, oh God. <laughs> spikers. Good game design. Things that you just naturally see without having to... Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Can't see. Yep, that was tough. Scary Dialogue suffering. <laughs> oh, okay, I take well, it back. That's on the left now. Okay. The game is still designed really well, though. Yes. I'm having fun. Yeah. Bouncy. I want to do extra points. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh -oh. Pit. It did tell me to watch out for Pits. <laughs> and like a fool, I didn't listen. What is your problem? I wasn't listening. Okay. Uh -oh. Can I work? Aha! Uh -huh. I figured it out. Yay! Batty's ahead. You can jump and squash him. He doesn't Aww, look bad. He's, he's so cute. cute. He looks like Kirby when, um, like in Super Smash Brothers, when he turns into the brick. I I don't really know what you're talking about. I I don't want to hurt him if I ain't got him. I guess if they don't really come after you, you just shouldn't bump into them. Okay, now this guy I may have to handle. He's up here talking to my lady. Yeah. And that just ain't cool. True. This is bouncing. <laughs> Bounce by squashing an enemy. Go away. I can bounce off enemies if you press A when I land on one. Oh, you already knew that? I guess so. I got an uh... achievement for it. So if you're an achievement hunter, this game seems pretty good for that. Yeah. Because I think that's the third or fourth one that I've gotten, and they're all about 90 points. And hey, I'm not complaining. I love achievements. Mm -hmm. I don't have nearly as much time to deal with them as I used to. But we used to achievement hunt quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Well, we also used to not have television, uh, internet, <laughs> yeah. or anything. So, uh -oh. Oh, I, no. so I don't want to bounce on that. So there was no Netflix, there was only DVDs and achievement hunting. Within a year I got like 70,000 gamer score, and yes. then we got internet and Netflix, and then I moved to like 10 or 15,000 a year. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. So let's try this tougher. again. It's more of a trial and error. Yeah, you gotta figure out the map. need to hit that. And then I needed to hit that. That was my problem. Okay. So I do need to hit that one, I think. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I'm not great at these kind of games. Right there. That's not right. <laughs> Don't bounce. Squeeze. Got the big dollar. You know, I'm not saying you need to be rich, but I'm gonna go find like 
my deal. Uh -huh. And then... Then I'm also going to have a whole bunch of coins for her. So I can buy her a nice hat. Oh, or, a pretty new bow. Or a comic book. Or a video game. So do we know what you can do with the coins yet? I think they're just for um, fun. Okay. Uh -oh. oh, no. All right, so I need to jump off the first one, but not off the second one. Or the complete opposite of that. <laughs> oh, no. Jenny, why did you do that? I'm sorry. She, she hit the button. It wasn't I'm me. I'm bad. It was me. I like the, um, all these little images in the background. Oh, that was the one I wasn't supposed to jump off. So I need to jump. They, they're very Super Mario Brothers esque. Yes. Okay. One thing Where's I think would Jill? be. Uh oh. Oh dear. Whoa. There she is. <laughs> One of the things I think would be really cool is if you could hold the directional pad to slow your progress. Yeah. But I imagine that would take a lot of the challenge out of it. But that might be nice for maybe a younger gamer or someone with less skills like me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no, are you stuck? No. I just gotta oh. oh I was trying to jump, but he was holding still. I don't know if that was a glitch or if that was game design. Hmm. But it was kind of annoying because I should have had that split second to turn around and then jump over. Because I would have had the right pass trajectory. Okay. I'm getting better at this, I think. Yeah, I think you're doing great. I would be dead and on that first level where you can't even die. <laughs> so. You figure it out. I have faith in you. I support you in anything you want to do. You're sweet. <laughs> I unlocked a new mini game. It's mini game time. Ooh. All that jumping. Seems to have helped. I can now bounce off of walls. I need a break. Complete a world. Jump into a wall. <sighs> and I'll hang on to it for a short time. Press A while I'm hanging on to a wall to do a wall jump. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I, for some reason, it's clearly not. But for some reason, I thought that was in the background. Like oh. on the cityscape. Like I thought it was like a company emblem on this skyscraper. Oh, okay. It's clearly not. But I was looking at it out of the corner of my eye. Yeah, I looked at it wrong. Because I'm smart. Uh-oh. That's... Mm. Okay, so this adds more maneuverability, but it also adds more issues. Gotta keep it challenging. It is challenging, but it's it's got a nice curve. Like, so far I'm not... I'm like, not mad. Incredibly frustrated. Yeah, <laughs> no. I don't mind a challenge as long as it's fair, and so far this has been incredibly fair and fun. I like this. What do you think? I like it. It's simple. It's cute. But it... Um, like me. <laughs> it keeps you interested, for sure. Squish. Oh, I was like, oh no, am I going to squish Jill? No, I wonder if you even could. No, I landed on her head. Okay. I'm in three. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I'm enjoying the music. Yeah, me too. I like it. I'm focusing on it less because I'm trying not to die horribly. Right. It's working out sometimes. Ooh, you did very well. That's because I wasn't talking very much. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's really hard to, to talk and play a game. I know it doesn't seem like it, but I it's like your the parts of your brain... It's like there's a particular part of your brain needed for speech, uh -huh. and thought process into speech, and hand coordination. Uh -huh. And all three of those are just kind of slapping into each other when you're trying to talk and focus. <laughs> Ow. 
Ouch. That time I wasn't talking, forming a sentence, <laughs> or having any kind of hand coordination. Sometimes you're just bad at stuff. Good, good. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Man. Mr. Squishy Man. Oh, oh that oh, was daring. To just drop down like that. No fall damage, we're good. I know, but you didn't know what was below you. You didn't know. Could have been anything. Like a shark. Maybe it, oh, that's not cool. <laughs> Don't talk about sharks. <laughs> Unless it's Senior Chomps from the Forest Place. I love Senior Chomps. Oh. <laughs> he was my friend. Wow, this is for life. Ouch. Don't jump off that guy. Squish. Squish. Big dollar. Oh no, okay. okay. Squish. I get stressed. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was playing through Mirror's Edge for the first oh. time. Jenny was watching me play it, and I would make some of those big daring jumps, and I'd look over, and she would have like her blanket pulled up over her face, <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, Don't honey, fall. It's not, you know, it's not real, right? <laughs> yeah. It was real enough to her. <laughs> I, I just love games with a story that really get, get you, like, invested. Uh, and, and this one doesn't really have a story, but it's it's adorable. It is. It's really cute. So, I probably couldn't watch you play this for, like, you know, 12 hours, like, I do some games. I doubt that this game would be that long unless yeah. some of the later levels are just incredibly difficult. Uh -huh. But games like this, you don't really want them to be super long because they tend to overstay their welcome uh -huh. if they're too long. I don't know. There are certain genres that just don't... Oh, come on. I don't feel like I was as close to that as the game made it out to be. And I'm fine with admitting that I suck at these, so... It's not one of those like, oh, the game cheated. <laughs> but, um, like horror games. When yeah. horror games are too long. Oops. Okay. It, it, See, like that, that was my fault. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I know. <laughs> but like a Alien Isolation, you know? We played through that over on Caleb's channel. Uh-huh. It's a beautiful, amazing, mastercrafted game that should have been about half as long. I know that's a weird thing to say, because why would you ever want the game to be short? But being scared for like 26 hours was just too much. Yeah. Well, did you find that you stopped being so uh, scared? Sorry. What? It wasn't your fault. Oh, maybe because I was talking at you. No. <laughs> okay. Um, did you find that you stopped being so scared and it just got kind of boring? Certain chunks of it. Um... But I think they were really smart in that regard because spoiler alerts for Alien Isolation. Spoiler, spoiler alert. alerts for Alien Isolation. I don't, I don't know. I'm giving people time to pause oh, okay. and navigate <laughs> away from the video. Okay, okay. In case they don't want anything spoiled for Alien Isolation. Okay. I hate spoilers. There's a huge chunk of the game where the alien, you think you've killed the alien. Spoiler alert, you did not kill the alien. <laughs> that part of the game was really, really boring. Apparently it's hard to do this for me when I'm trying to remember things too. <laughs> that part of the game was really, really boring. Because you were just wandering around fighting basic ass androids that are not fun to fight. They're oh, just I hard. I remember the androids. Yeah, they're yeah. just hard and they just kick the shit out of you all the time. Uh -huh. And so that part of the game was not fun. Um, and that was probably a nice little chunk of it. Jill! We found you, Jill! I made Jill. it. I did it. That was a rough one. It was a rough one because I was... Oh, oh! I can run really fast if I get that shoe. Oh no, <laughs> Just do you that really one shoe. want to go any faster? No. Oh dear! Oh, I can get better... I can get bigger ups. Bigger ups? Huh? Jump better. 
something design-wise that I would prefer is if you look up there in the top left corner, it gives me a countdown for the shoe. Uh -huh. I can't really afford to look away from my character doing this. Yeah. So I wish it was just like a big number in the middle of the screen or something else that I could see peripherally. That makes sense. Um, but not a big deal. Or at least not yet. We'll see <laughs> how much implementation the shoe gets. Oh, I keep uh. doing that. Stupid boo. <laughs> Yeah, how are you wearing the boot? I, I don't understand. <laughs> you don't have any feet or legs. I don't. I don't just, get it. You're just a... Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Is Jack a marshmallow? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it could be. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, I told you all at the beginning, I'm not very good at these. <laughs> you came here looking for any kind of goodness. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. I got you. Hi, Jill. Hi. You're not Jill, you're Jeannie. No. <laughs> that's another thing that's kind of interesting is it's like my brain got used to the inertia the boot was giving me. Uh-huh. And so I thought I could just clear that without having to actually jump. But I cannot. <laughs> I noticed something while you were falling to your death. Um, <laughs> Which time? <laughs> this most recent time? The most recent time. Please, proceed. The little tiles that are across the top of the floor, if there are, are Like coins, the ones that are underneath Jack and Jill right now? Yes. Uh -huh. If there are two coins floating above, it starts to look like a silly face. Like you're right here? Yes. Mm, <laughs> like he's got big silly teeth. Yeah. I approve. Coins. Give me the cash! Give me the cash! <laughs> Why don't more people talk about the fifth element? You know, it's a good question. I think it's a very loved movie, but maybe it's, it's like been a, a while status. since yeah, it, it was in the limelight, and you know. Here's my question: In an age of rebooting everything, where's our fifth element? Reboot? Whoa! <laughs> No! Uh, Stupid shoe! You were, you were too busy thinking about... Mila Jovovich in that bandage outfit? Psych! I'm thinking about Ruby Ra, girl. Yeah! Come in! Come in, Dad! Come in! Now those are Ninja Turtles. <laughs> what? Isn't that what? Oh, no, no. Okay, so me and my friend Alan, right? We're really drunk. We're watching The Fifth Element. <laughs> and it's when those aliens, the big metal ducks. Duck. Are oh, <laughs> the mighty ducks, not the Ninja Turtles. You gonna let me finish? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's when those giant ducks, those giant alien ducks are walking out. And he just slaps me really hard in the chest, like with the back of his hand. Just wham! And I turn and I look at him confused and he goes, now those... Those are the fucking mighty ducks. And then he just passes out. <laughs> and I was like, what just happened? And then it all processed, and I died laughing. And then you passed out? Yeah. No. Oh, so you can't grapple onto those blocks, can you? You can. I just, I guess I didn't press the button fast enough. Uh -huh. Sometimes it's hard to tell exactly when the button should be pressed on that specific thing. Uh huh. But again, that's because I'm not good. <laughs> I think it's good. Wish. I want to beat this level. No, not more shoe. I don't like the shoe. The shoe screws with me. 
It makes me, it, it confuses me about my character's movement and his momentum. It makes sense why. And while. his motivation. <laughs> why? No foot. Why shoe? No foot. That's as complicated as my thoughts get. <laughs> why shoe? No foot. Why shoe? No foot. If I was titling these episodes, that's exactly what this one would be called. Why shoe? Why shoe? No foot. Jill. We found Jill. <sighs> Wonder how many worlds there are. This is fun. It's definitely ramped up the challenge. Not in a terrible way, though. Can I avoid the shoe? I don't think I can. Probably not. Whee! Oh, God. Oh, that makes fine. Another nice thing, though, is the game is not a jerk. Like, it doesn't... Yeah. It doesn't have, you know, non-obvious things that are going to kill you. It doesn't just drop you right by a whole thing of spikes yeah. and kill you. Right. I'm used to old game design. Ooh, looks like we found some fatty repellent. It should be very useful. But be careful, though. I can still get hurt from spikes. Is this like the star? Squish. Squish. Oh. But you used the I baddies. was looking at... The baddies haven't given you much trouble. No, this is my friend. like Kirby. Like, I know I'm referencing Kirby again, but have you ever played the first Kirby? I'm asking the viewers. I know you've seen <laughs> me play the first Kirby. In the first Kirby, you just, like, come to this place, and it's this adorable little land where everybody's happy, and you just come in and start killing everybody. Yeah. I'm convinced that in, like, the Kirby games, Kirby's the bad guy. of that world who have been turned into something else by Bowser? Am I making that up? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't either. <laughs> I feel like there was something in Mario, in the background, in the backstory of Mario, where Bowser comes Which into... Mario? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure you got your facts straight. Keep going. <laughs> Bowser's, like, turned all of the... Toad people into the little bad, baddie owl looking people. I don't know. Baddie owl looking people? Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna stop talking. Are you drunk? No, I just don't know anything. <laughs> you know tons of stuff. I just have no idea what you're talking about. The baddie owls. Um, show me a picture. The little things that look like owls. Show me a picture of what you're talking about. Okay. Things that look like owls. It might be obvious once you show it to me, but currently, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm curious what you're Googling to find <laughs> Mario characters look like owls. <laughs> I bet that's gonna bring up some weird porn. <laughs> Let me know when you find it. the weird porn. Uh, <laughs> no weird porn yet. That's not possible. Like Do you know Mario which game it was from? Bad guys. I feel like all their their um little baddies in all of the games. Are you talking about Goombas? Maybe. The guys that look like little no. mushrooms. Yeah. Goombas. Goombas. <laughs> I think they look like owls. You think they look like owls? <laughs> I thought they did until I see until I brought up this image and was like, that does not look like an owl at that all. That does not look like an owl at all. <laughs> but aren't they? You the know what? I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> In the Gianna Sisters, the original release that was a huge ripoff of Mario Brothers, so much so that they actually pulled it, and it's a huge collectible now. Um they have owls instead of Goombas. So I'm going to say that your your wires got crossed, and you're actually sure. thinking of the Gianna system. Yeah, that's it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. We'll go with that. Let's check out these mini games real quick before we end the video. <coughs> well, what 
what I was trying to say, doesn't Bowser take all of the toadstool people, toadstool people, or whatever, and turn them into the Goombas, and then you're off killing all the Goombas, but you're really killing these poor citizens that were turned into baddies not against that, their will? Not that I have ever heard of. Okay. Um, if somebody knows if that's, <gasps> I can buy a hat. <laughs> Ooh, a chef's hat. Ooh, a mohawk. I wonder if they Get do anything it. for you. I mean, if they do, the bunny one probably helps me jump. Where do I get tickets? They must be from the mini games. Oh, so that, I think it costs, press A to jump, help baddies cross the pit and earn tickets. You can use the tickets to unlock new things. This is fun. Good. You're a baddie. I got a coin. I'm not a baddie. They're just cute little blobos. But they're called baddies. No, that's their name. Oh no. Do I just, oh, I'm tying. Sorry, Mr. Baddy. If you watch, watch his eyes when you jump. There's like a, his, like a ghost image oh, yeah. of his eyes behind him. I think yeah. that's really cool looking. I can't tell if that's some kind of artifacting on my screen or if that's intentional. But if it's intentional, I think it looks really good. Yeah. It adds some nice fluidity to the character. Mm -hmm. What color do you think this guy is? Oh, I think he's... I want to say he's like a light brown or green. I'm going with like red brick. I wouldn't have thought that. Why not? Just wouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Because I didn't. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> uh, why wouldn't I buy that hat? <laughs> there's so much stuff here. There is a lot of stuff. It looks like there's a pretty good helping of achievements, too. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, it was fun. What do you think? Uh, really cute. Um, you want to play a level? No. Why not? I'll die a lot. And it looks like there's plenty of levels. Yeah. It looks like there's seven worlds. Wow, how complicated is that going to get? Probably very. But I mean, the first world, it seems like it introduces a new mechanic, and then you get to play with it, and then there you go. And then it introduces a new mechanic, and you get to play with it, and there you go. It does that right. like every couple of levels, because this level, it seems like it introduced um, the, the boot, boot and the batty repellent. And, yep, and the repellent. But yeah, I think this is a really cool game. You should check it out. I'm pretty sure at the time of the recording, which is December 27th, that it is on sale on Steam, and I want to say Xbox. Um, but it's not very expensive either way, and I mean, there aren't very many runner games out there, so if this is a, a genre that you enjoy, this is one of the better ones I've played. I haven't played that many, but this was fun. I liked yeah, it a lot. I did too. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.